Dr. Abdullah's question from the UK is crystal clear. And a lot of the Muslims have doubts in this. He says we have to connect our kinship and to maintain them. But what about the opposite gender? So this means that we have an instruction to maintain our kinship and we have a prohibition and a restriction in free mixing and socializing with the opposite gender who are not our mahram. So this always prevails. The scholars say whenever we have something that gives the green light and something that gives the red light, we always give preference to the red light, which is al-hadr, al-man'ah. Al Restriction and prohibition always comes first rather than the permission. So in our case, when I have my uncle's wife, so my uncle is my relationship, he's my blood, he's my kinship, his wife is not. Not only that, she's not mahram, then I can have no contact with her. Okay, what about my uncle's daughter? He's the brother of my father, he's my uncle, my paternal uncle, or my maternal uncle, and their daughters are my cousins, but they're non mahram. So I must not have any communication, socializing, or mixing with them. So how would I connect my kinship? You do that remotely, in the sense that if they're married, if they have children, and they are in need of, of, of money, they're poor, you give money to your wife to give it to her, or you give money to your mom to give it to her, or you give it to your father to give it to her. But you don't have non-mahram relationship. This is not permissible. But to go and check on them or to be on a WhatsApp group and joke and socialize, this is totally prohibited in Islam.